And we're learning about some of the victims tonight. Among them, dozens of university students making their way back for the new semester after the winter break. At a memorial tonight on the University of Toronto campus, six of those students are being remembered as bright and talented individuals whose promising futures were cut short. In every channel, every group that we're talking, somebody has lost someone that knew personally, so it has been a very tough time for a lot of people. On the University of Toronto campus, a special prayer for the young lives taken too soon. Of the 176 victims aboard the plane that crashed in Tehran, six were students studying at U of T. I was surfing like through the channels and suddenly I saw the news and the list of the people who were lost. I, I was shocked. Like, I was really shocked. I, I don't like because these people were really young and they were going after their uh, dreams. Amin Mukadan crossed paths with all six of them at one time or another during his time on campus. I myself lost six friends. And I cannot imagine how, how their families are, are feeling now because these people were the hope of their families. The closest was his friend, Mohammed Asadi Lari, who died along with his sister Zainab. Mohammed was a youth advisor for the Canadian Commission for UNESCO and working as a mechanical engineer while completing his PhD. He was, he was a PhD, an MD at U of T. He was a genius guy as well and he was a, a brilliant guy. So it's, you can imagine how hard that is for a family to lose. The other four students have been identified as Mujtaba Abbas Nizad, Mohammed Amin Beiruti, Mohammed Amin Jabeli, and Mohammed Salehi, whose wife Zahra was also killed aboard the plane. Their tragic deaths have sent shockwaves through the community. At the U of T campus, the flag has been lowered in their memory as a community mourns the promising young lives that were cut short in the blink of an eye. It was Christmas, it was holidays, so everyone was back home to meet their families and then coming back to their work, to their university, and no one was imagining that something like this can happen. And details are trickling in about some of the other university students from across the province who were aboard that plane. Ghanimat Adzari was an international student at the University of Guelph. She was identified as one of the victims by her professor. She was on her way back after visiting her family in Iran over the December break. University... University of Waterloo confirmed two of their students perished in the crash. Mansoor Esnashari Esfahani, uh, whose photo is ID'd here by a friend, along with Marzia Forutan, they were both PhD students. University of Windsor confirmed at least five people from their school community are among the de dead. Friends on social media ID'd Samira Bashiri and Hamid Reza Sitari. And some other universities across Ontario have confirmed their connections to some of the casualties. Western University confirmed four of their students are victims. Three are from U Ottawa and one attended York University. And some of those victims are even younger. The York Region District School Board and Toronto District School Board both confirmed students were killed in the fatal crash.